best bites forever. Hey everyone, I'm Chef Alicia and in this video you'll learn how to make this roasted acorn squash with garlic and brown sugar. The first thing that I need to do is cut my squash in half. To do that, I've removed a small piece off of the bottom just to make it more stable, and then I'm going to cut it kind of to the side of the stem. You can definitely cut this perfectly in half if you would like to, just by using the tip of your knife and going in near to the stem. But in this particular instance, I plan on using one side of this to stuff it and the other side for tonight's roasted squash. Remove the seeds, roast them if you want to, and then I'm going to set this to the side. This is the one that I'll be using tonight, and now I'm going to make the yumminess that's going to go on top of it. To do this, I will need to zest one lemon, and then I'm going to gather that zest into a nice neat little pile and just run my knife over it a couple of times. Gather that into a little pile, and then I'm going to divide that in half. Half of this is going to be for my squash, and actually the other half is for my asparagus. I'm adding this in with a tablespoon of brown sugar and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, along with about a teaspoon of freshly minced garlic. I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil to that mixture and stir it around just a little bit, and then add one more, so a total of two tablespoons of olive oil went into there. I'm going to move my little squash over and just go ahead and pour that right into the center of it. And then I want to spread that around evenly all over the squash. Once I get this spread around and nice and evenly coated, I'm going to put it into a small roasting pan. This is going into the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until it is fork tender. Mine took about 25 to 30 minutes, but it might take up to 40. I sliced it up for service and gave it a little garnish. Normally I would say not to use a garnish that isn't in the recipe, but in this case the rosemary is in my chicken that I'm serving this with. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy everyone. Hi again, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a like and a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends because sharing is caring. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to go ahead and subscribe now. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone. Back. Bye for ever.com